Hi, I'm Alicia Fogden here with Jacinta Rose to talk about what's making news this week in Stock Journal. Producers have reported significant decreases in rabbit numbers following the release of the latest strain of the Khaleesi virus on March 2. Across Australia, 328 release sites were involved in the K5 rollout, including 54 in South Australia. Data from 200 national sites reported a 42% average decline, while locally 16 sites provided data of rabbit numbers decreasing by 48%. Persa Biosecurity Senior Research Officer Greg Mutzi said while initial results were encouraging, it was still a bit too early to determine the long-term success of the virus until it was known whether it would persist, spread and start causing natural disease outbreaks in the coming year. The state's top beef producers were recognised in the MSA Excellence in Eating Quality Awards held at Gawla last week. The awards celebrate businesses that have achieved outstanding compliance to MSA specifications for carcasses graded in 2015-16 and 2016-17. Most outstanding beef producer went to Blue Lake Station at Congorong, which achieved an incredible MSA compliance level of 99.2%. The grain-fed section was won by Linton and Sonia Joyce and their son Sam from Englefield Grange, while Lee Clifford from Millicent won the Progress Award for the producer showing the greatest improvement in his MSA results. Vic Police are investigating a sophisticated wool tampering operation uncovered in Melbourne after a number of brokers reported their wool had been tampered with since May. Police allege more than 16 bales stored in Melbourne had their high-value wool removed from the original bales and replaced with significantly lower-value wool. The wool was then exported to China where buyers discovered the bales had been tampered with. Detective Inspector Jamie Templeton said the thefts were inc incredibly damaging to the livelihood and reputations of the brokers who exported the product. He encouraged others who may have been a victim of the thefts to report it to Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. And in positive news for the dairy sector, progress is occurring faster than expected for the state's newest milk processor. Midfield Group's new plant at Panola has been in operation for about a month and is already running at 98% of its first year capacity, according to Dairy Operations Director Daniel Ahrens. Mr Ahrens said the business had been designed to be entirely export focused, but the company has been pleasantly surprised by how much interest it's received from the domestic market. Midfield has been actively recruiting producers from the local region for its milk, with Mr Ahrens saying they'd found a great family of suppliers. He said the aim was to have 40% of the volume from the southeast, with 60% expected from Victoria, within close proximity to the border. To get all the details on these stories and many more, make sure you head to your local newsagent and pick up a copy of this week's Stock Journal.